In a remote area of Siberia, the morning calm was rocked by an explosion. The powerful blast was heard a thousand miles away. There was an enormous fireball blast, uh, something on the order of 15 megatons of equivalent energy, which is roughly a thousand times that of the Hiroshima blast at the end of the Second World War. This was an extraordinary event. Because of the remoteness of the Tunguska region, it was almost 20 years before any government researchers visited the site. The first expedition to reach Tunguska was headed by Russian mineralogist Leonid Kulik. When the, the initial expedition got to the Tunguska area in, in 1927, the natives were reluctant to show the scientists into the region because they thought the god Agdi had devastated the area because of the wickedness that was going on, and he had destroyed the trees, killed the animals. Kulik eventually convinced locals to direct him to the blast location, Believing a meteorite had caused the massive explosion, Kulik assumed he would find a crater at the point of the meteorite's impact. To his surprise, there was none. He looked for meteorite samples on the ground because often when an, an object hits the earth, uh, it throws up debris and the debris is recoverable around the edges of the crater. But of course he didn't find that either. What Kulik discovered has stirred UFO debate for decades. At the blast's epicenter was a frozen swamp with an untouched clump of fully grown trees in the middle. Circled around the grove, 10 million dead trees lay in a symmetrical ring, seemingly mowed down by a cosmic scythe. So here we have a, an enormous blast site with no crater, no fragments or meteorites around the rim of the crater, and this radial pattern of burnt trees knocked down for some 20 miles in all directions. In the years that followed, others traveled to Tunguska to study the unusual occurrence. There might have been fruits obtained by labors of another expedition sent by the head of the Soviet secret police in the late 1940s. But all we know is that such expedition existed. We do not know what has happened to the items and the information it collected. Further baffling ufologists were reports of radiation damage in the Tunguska blast region. There were also some reports of mutations taking place in plant life, and uh, even uh, some humans apparently uh, suffered some uh, gene damage. In 1947, Russian Army Colonel Alexander Kozentsev developed a remarkable theory based on information about the devastating consequences of America's atomic bomb attacks on Japan. He was listening to the report about the nuclear bombardment. The announcer gave a very long and very detailed description of how and in which direction trees, houses had fallen and so on, how everything was hit. He realized that what had happened in Hiroshima, exactly the same happened at Tunguska, only nearly half a century ago. Kazentsev hypothesized that the nuclear-like devastation seen at Tunguska must have been caused by the crash of a nuclear-powered alien spacecraft. But the scientific community rebuffs the UFO theory. Scientists claim the Tunguska explosion was caused by a rare but explainable natural event. They believe an asteroid dropped to just three miles above the Earth's surface and then exploded. As the object came in, it was, it was being decelerated and squeezed by atmospheric forces. It blew up with a force of a, of a hydrogen bomb. The shockwave smashed down the forest, knocking trees away from the blast and resulting in a pattern away from ground zero. But how would an asteroid explosion explain the reports of radiation damage in the Tunguska area? Scientists say it can be attributed to the sheer magnitude of the explosion. As we mentioned before, the, the blast itself was a thousand times greater than the Hiroshima blast at the end of World War II. The blast would have generated a series of very high-speed charged particles and would have been the cause of some of the mutations in the gene structures of plants and animals. But to this day, scientific explanations do not satisfy many ufologists. 
Я несколько раз был на месте. I have been several times to the place where the Tunguska body fell. I intentionally call it body, not meteorite. I mean the catastrophe of an asteroid, of a comet, or of any other natural body cannot lead to such consequences. A number of expeditions found things that they couldn't explain. There are some.